right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out. Before we get started, I want to let you know who we are. We are UVA SEC, the student-run nonprofit CIO that offers free consulting to help build community relationships between the UVA student demographic and local businesses. We look to help communities, uh, business communities, businesses in our local community that like to help the UVA student body, and uh, this is where we come in. We form strategic partnerships between local businesses, students and alumni, and in doing so, we're able to increase business opportunities for you, establish brand relevance so that you can dominate the existing market demographic over your competitors. How do we do this? We have two areas of expertise. First, we are good with web. We have social media. We have technology experts that can take your whole online presence, revamp it, introduce e-commerce as a core of your company's strategic advantage, and also we have um, strategic position within the university community. We can identify market demographics of the student body that can engage your company, provide you an advantage over the next people. Now, I'm sure you're thinking that this is great. I'm distracted by your beautiful tie. Let me tell you a story. My dad walked down the corner 40 years ago and bought it from a store that this man here, our research specialist, is going to tell you about right now. So, Southern Ivy was founded on the UVA corner in 1950. Although it's in the business of selling traditional clothes, it has a much richer history than other retailers for similar clothing. For years, the University of Virginia has been, represent, has been respected for and characterized by guys and ties who dress to the teeth for class and for the most awaited social events of the year. <coughs> Southern Ivy has always supplied the garments responsible for the respectable traditional image that defines the men of UVA. Here's some photos. Well, those photos are actual yearbook photos um, demonstrating that point. Today, Southern Ivy has changed locations. It's moved off the corner. It's about a 10 minute drive away. It maintains strong alumni ties, uh, but that population is aging and has a historically decreasing student customer base. Um, Southern Ivy has worked to maintain student involvement through sponsorship of student activities like the fraternity philanthropies, but it's not as effective as they'd like. So the management of Southern Ivy has contacted us to consult in its transition from old to new while paying homage to the traditional UVA Southern gentleman. We are creating a strategy that utilizes social media to promote our business as well as the history and tradition of UVA that Southern Ivy represents in an effort to build a more, stu a more loyal student customer base. Um, we want to give students the reason to patronize Southern Ivy Instead of other retailers, we want to sell the connection that Southern Ivy has and its authentic, um, the connection it has to UVA and its authentic history to the students. So, enter, Southern, enter the SCC. Here we are, we see a business with a long standing tradition of partnership with the university community. The alumni base retention, client retention, is a key to their success today. Most of their business comes from phone in orders from alumni that went to this store when it was on the court. We see a need to re-engage the student community, recapture the audience, and bring Southern Ivy back to the corner. Um, and we've got a program that our marketing specialist, Gene Farrell, is going to tell you about to bring it back. To maintain alumni ties and increase the student customer base, um, we have the UVA Student Community Alliance, um, or Community Consulting, have created the honor. Um, Exclusive league of men and women um, who respect the customs and traditions of UVA, um, a scholarship of honor and integrity. Um, the benefits of being a part of this league would include um, discounts at Southern Ivy, the bookstore, and other corner establishments, uh, regular promotions online and at events that we will hold throughout the year, um, and a private end of the year celebration, um, which would be held for all members of the honor men. Um, and it would be an event um, held on the store corner and include live music and food and to be provided. Um, in addition, being a part of the honor men would include eligibility to be um, to nominate a student for the Southern Ivy Scholarship, a need-based one thousand dollars scholarship um, and outfit, which would encourage academic excellence um, and be awarded to the honor man or woman of the year who um, uphold the ideals of James K. Jr.'s The Honor Man. Um, obtaining membership in Southern Ivy um, would be possible by liking uh, Southern Ivy um, on Facebook or following Southern Ivy on Twitter, as well as stopping by um, a 
coffee shop at any time um, during the year or finding us at one of our art bounds events. Um, these events will be held twice a year, one time in the spring and once in the fall, and it would include um, raffles, giveaways, uh, free food and drinks, um, as well as a chance to solidify membership in um, the art. So, you see this membership program, and you probably want to be a part of it. It's a chance for you to get discount and nice gentleman's clothing for yourself or your boyfriend or husband, depending on your age. And it's a chance for you to get involved with a group of men that are doing so in a way that they can give back to the student community. Percentage of your purchase, either student or alumni, will go to the UVA Endowment for Excellence, which in turn will sponsor a scholarship to promote the integrity and ideals of James A. Jr.'s The Alderman, the 1903 poem first published. <coughs> Then. But how are we going to get this started? That's where the technology specialists come in. So, as your social media specialist for Southern Ivy, we're here to um, help you learn that we're going to inform you um, on our social media tools for our business. This is going to make it easier for our customers to engage with us with our social media tools, stay up to date on our upcoming events, and get free insight into our promotional sales. Bottom line, we're using social media to solidify our customer base to buy from our company, 7up. So, our first, uh, we're going to be using three different types of social media tools for Southern Ivy. Our first tool will be the Facebook fan, fan page. We're going to be updating um, our newsfeed daily with events coming up, scholarship information, and promotional sales. Customers are welcome to send their pictures of themselves in their Southern, uh, the Southern Ivy clothing to our Facebook page, and we will gladly tag them from an um, picture and so, the other, so their friends can see them on the page. We will also be having company ads on our Facebook page located to the right that are going to advertise Southern Ivy. And we're also going to be selling virtual gifts, such as a bow tie, a regular tie, and pearls for your choosing. We're also going to have a, a group for the honor men and an event page for each event that we hold. But most of all, we um, would like you to like our fan page in order for us to inform you of events. Um, the second form of social media we're going to be utilizing is Twitter. Um, we've created a Twitter account earlier this week. It's called Southern Ivy Jet, and I recommend that everybody begin to follow us on Facebook as the presentation nears. Um, Twitter allows us to retain our cyber followers and garner the foundation of our growing young alumni and current student clientele. Uh, the account is useful in advertising upcoming sales in real time, promoting events, and most importantly, keeping Southern Ivy in the minds of our current and potential customers. Additionally, we'll be using blog, the blogger feature blogging on our website that we create through Wix. Um, the strategy is going to include integrating blogger technology so that we can create and maintain the intimate customer relationship that people have grown accustomed to um, with Southern Ivy. The blog will allow um, contributors to write, um, to write interesting articles using fashionista <coughs> parlance on a variety of events or a variety of events on ground such as what they wore at Foxfields or maybe a stylish bow tie they found at our store. Uh, we will also offer an online forum via the blog where a website uh, to allow customers to interact amongst each other, discuss upcoming events on grounds, and trade fashion tips. The blog will ultimately draw more attention to the website and allow us to indirectly advertise to our customers. So, in memory of Corks and Pearls, that was the, actually the UVA yearbook that was discontinued in 2008, we're going to create an online scrapbook to display images of Southern Ivy from back in the day to today, um, our different events and our customer base. So in order to directly see pictures on our website, we're going to be using the Wix website templates to make albums for our pictures. More pictures will be featured on this website than on our Facebook for um, customer pleasure and um, customers are also welcome to email us again uh, with their pictures. And Wix will also allow us to change our existing, outdated website into a new, refreshing, attractive website that customers are going to be willing to come to often, make their online transactions, um, look at the events that are coming up, and um, our 
just got one of the chips. So, um, our social media tools are being put in place to reach out to our alumni, the, the current students, and our community. Alumni will be able to stay up to date via Facebook um, of our events, but uh, because they are they carry most of our customer base already, we're looking to target the current student body at UVA with our new strategy and make these students more loyal customers to Southern Ivy. Um, we so the next part we're going to talk about are measurements of success and how do we see, I guess, these initiatives come to fruition um, using technology. So for purposes of Southern Ivy, the functionality of Google Analytics um, will be used to measure our site engagement goals and clothing sales against the threshold uh, the analytics site will allow us to define. Uh, watching, for example, our scholarship or honorment initiatives um, be realized by tracking our increased online sales and be critical in gauging our success. Uh, more specifically, we use the e-commerce feature to trace individual customer transactions to particular campaigns, such as um, based on their age, residence, and, um, and then tie that into the purchases they made, such as bow ties, ties, dress shirts, etc., and therefore identifying our best sources of revenue. Uh, we'll also be using the following feature on Twitter, which provides us the opportunity to link twi our Twitter account, Southern Ivy Gen, uh, with, and tunnel that to our, our blogs and posts, as well as our website. Um, based on the wittiness and cleverness of the 140 characters we're allowed per post, we can garner a following that could be in thousands and sometimes millions, and at little or no cost. That can we can also provide customers with real-time uh, company information, networks where we can talk about what's happening with anyone, and it's a great place to interact uh, with our employees at Southern Ivy. Um, finally, we'll be using Facebook Analytics in correlation with the Facebook fan page. These are similar to Google Analytics in that you can view demographics and membership and understand customer habits. In turn, we'll be able to target a specific audience based on their gender, language, location, and the plugin, plugins they're most likely they um, mostly use on Facebook. There's also a deeper engagement aspects to Google Analytics, um, which refers to things like the like button, comment sections, etc. Basically, implying people who look more in depthly into the website. Uh, this will allow us to see how we saw the like button, clicked on it, saw the stories, and then posted through the like button, and how we then ultimately um, viewed our site. This in turn will allow us to connect with our customers in a different, more contemporary space. So, take a minute, step back, and think about what you've got here. You've got a company with a historic presence with UVA. You've got all this online go going on. So you've got Twitter, you've got Facebook, you've got a blog, and you've got Course and Curls online, bringing it back. What's the catch here? Membership to the Honorman requires you to like the Facebook page or follow the Twitter. So everyone is engaged, and all of a sudden we've got online access to a customer base that's no longer with our store since we moved up the point. So we're bringing it back, getting you tied back in, the incentives to join are personal benefits. You get discounts with the local community stores, uh, particularly the Southern Ivy. In addition to the chance to give back to the student student body with the Honor Men Scholarship. Um, only members of the Honor Men are able to nominate the scholarship, scholarship candidates, and vote. Um, but the real catch here is we are reestablishing a student base for this for Southern Ivy, so that as they graduate and become alumni client retention, the thing that Southern Ivy does so well, can continue to thrive. Um, and honestly, this is a project that we look to step in, start, initiate, and then step back and just watch the success. Uh, measure things as they go on, and see Southern Ivy return to the corner, get back on grounds. Thank you for your time.